Welcome to the first episode of Vice Confidential, where we delve into the most chilling and disturbing true crime stories. In this video, we'll be exploring the shocking case of Abby Choi, a Hong Kong model, socialite, and internet celebrity who was reported missing on February 21st, 2023. What started as a missing persons case soon turned into a nightmare when Abby's headless body was discovered just three days later in Tai Po, a suburb of Hong Kong. The details of this case are truly disturbing, with reports indicating that some of her body parts were hidden inside a refrigerator and even cooked. Join us as we investigate the evidence and attempt to uncover the truth behind this heinous crime. Let's begin. Meat grinder, electric saw, soup pots, and a human head. Inside this human butcher shop lie the severed arms, legs, and remaining tissues of a young woman in various stages of being cooked. Looking at this macabre scene, you would never know that these body parts belong to a glamorous jet-setting influencer who had her face featured in some of the most famous fashion magazines in the world. This was not the final destination that 28-year-old model, mother of four, and multi-millionaire Abby Choi would have planned for herself. However, when millions of dollars in prime Hong Kong real estate are involved, betrayal and savagery are not out of the question. Through a bone-chilling, real-life series of events that seem right out of a horror story, we will find out the truth about what actually happened to Abby Choi. Abby Choi Tin Fung was born in 1994 as the eldest child of a wealthy Hong Kong family that had business ties in China. Growing up with two sisters in one of the fastest growing cities in the world, Abby was a pampered kid who enjoyed a very comfortable yet guarded childhood as the apple of her parents' eye. From an early age, Abby was accustomed to the finer things in life. Lavish family vacations, shopping sprees, and the best that high society had to offer were the norm for Abby. What was not the norm was Abby marrying her teenage boyfriend, Alex Kwong, the son of a police officer at the age of 18. Living the life of luxury as the eldest daughter of a millionaire, Abby's life changed overnight. She went from the penthouse to the life of a young adult, doing whatever it took to make ends meet, even going as far as starting a humble pancake stand with her brother-in-law. Back then, Abby would have been unrecognizable to her 100,000 followers on Instagram, who are now used to seeing her posing against a romantic Parisian skyline, going to lavish brunches and Michelin-starred restaurants with her girlfriends, being featured on Le Officiel Monaco, and being chauffeured from one high fashion event to the next. Let's go back to the 21st of February, 2023, a date that would change Abby's life and the lives of her children and other loved ones forever. An eight-year-old girl stands alone at the Hong Kong Science Park pickup area as she normally does, waiting for her mom to pick her up from her after-school activities. She waits and waits and waits, but her mom never shows up. You can imagine how terrifying this would be to an eight-year-old. Her mom is never late, no matter what. Her mom, Abby, would always come to pick her up. Abby was a very doting mom to all four of her children and took pride in always being there for them. Calls to Abby's phone went unanswered. No one knew where she was. Records show that Zhou Yi Pao, a close friend of Abby's, was the last person to talk to her at 2.02 p.m. local time via a social media app. And after that, no one would ever hear from her for the rest of the day. It was almost as if she had been silenced or wiped from existence. Her husband and her family sensed that there was something wrong. They filed a missing persons report with the police that night in fear that Abby might have been abducted. Abby was a beautiful woman with deep pockets, and there was no shortage of people in Hong Kong who wouldn't love to take advantage of someone in her, of her status. Her kids wanted to see their mom, her husband was worried sick, and her mother only hoped that maybe it was all just a bad dream, keeping the hope alive that her daughter will return home unharmed. Abby's ex-husband Alex also reached out to her family, hoping to hear that Abby was found alive and well. But during his outreach, Alex expressed disappointment that he had not been informed that Abby had gone missing in the first place. With such a high-profile socialite like Abby Choi being missing, the police were on high alert. They started going through the streets and alleys of Hong Kong with a fine-tooth comb, looking for any and all leads that would take them to Abby's location. During their investigation, the Hong Kong police started looking at CCTV footage from the neighborhoods that Abby used to frequent, and what they found led them to a literal house of horrors. 
On February 24th, 2023, a headless body was found by the police at a Tai Po village house, located in one of the 18 districts of Hong Kong. Some of the body parts were in the refrigerator. A skull was found floating in a soup. A shelf in the kitchen was stacked with fragments of what seemed to be a human leg. This place was a slaughterhouse. Equipped with a meat grinder, an electric saw, two types of choppers, a hammer, face shields, and black raincoats. Everything needed to break down and dispose of a human body. The only clue that the police found that tied this scene back to Abby Choi was sitting in a corner that no one thought to hide properly, her purple handbag. The investigators knew instantly that Abby must have been there because the bag matched the description of the one that she carried the day that she went missing. After searching the bag, the police also found Abby's ID and credit cards. Little did the perpetrators know that their careful, meticulous plan to finish off one of the most powerful women in Hong Kong would be unraveled so soon after spending weeks plotting her murder. To fully understand why this happened to Abby, we need to take a closer look at her personal life. Remember Alex Kwong, Abby's first husband? After having two children and four years of marriage, they decided to go their separate ways in 2016. However, they never officially got divorced. From an outside observer's perspective, their marriage was doomed to fail from the beginning. Why would the pampered eldest daughter of the wealthy Choi family get married to the son of a policeman? They were from completely different worlds. Hang on, because this is where things get even crazier. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Vice Confidential if you're a fan of true crime stories. After Abby ended her relationship with Alex, she ended up marrying her current husband, Chris Kwan, the heir of Tanzai Yunnan Misha a popular Chinese rice noodle chain in 2016. Throughout all of this, Choi maintained a close relationship with her ex and his extended family, the Kwongs. Abby frequently joined her ex's family along with their children on vacations. Even her current husband and ex were on great terms. In addition to this, it was common knowledge that Abby was financing her ex-in-law's lives. She funded Alex's expensive lifestyle, helped her brother-in-law Anthony with his business, and set up her ex-in-laws with huge apartments in prime locations throughout Hong Kong. Multiple images in Anthony Kwong's social media accounts show Abby and him posing for photos at birthday celebrations, yacht parties, and a trip to Macau, where he tagged her as his sis. If the Kwongs love Abby and had an amazing relationship with her, then what went wrong? Why are the Kwongs even being mentioned here? According to investigators, the relationship between Choi and the Kwongs began to sour in 2022. The source of their dispute centered around a piece of property worth tens of millions of dollars. While being married to Alex, Abby Choi purchased a lavish 1820 square foot Kandori Hill property under the name of Kwong Kao, Alex's father and a retired police officer, for nearly $73 million in 2019. This was allegedly done to avoid an $8 million stamp duty tax. According to mortgage records obtained by the Hong Kong news website HK01, the mortgage for this property was completely paid off by October of the same year. But when Abby wanted to sell this property, even with the promise of finding another residence for the Kwongs, things went downhill. Fast. Her plan was met with intense resistance from Kao, her ex-father-in-law. At this point, the feud led Choi to talk to a lawyer, who suggested that as long as she could prove that she paid for the property, she could still receive all the money from its sale. While we are not sure that if this is exactly the sale that went down, a property listing shows what could have been the apartment that was sold for $72.8 million. The property portal owner, Midland Realty, refused to comment on this matter to any media outlets. Regardless, this is where things took a dark turn with Cow. Shocked and left seething with a fresh feeling of betrayal, he was stung right where it hurt him most, his pride the girl his son married, the mother of his grandchildren, and the person who gained his trust and the trust of his family by helping them out whenever they needed her, had turned against them, threatening to take away their home and taking all the profits from the sale of this multi-million dollar property. And with Abby's money and resources, she was far more powerful than the Kwongs could ever be. Kao devised a plan to resolve his problems, erase Abby Choi from existence make it appear as if she had vanished off the face of this planet. While Abby was away on an overseas trip, Cow put his plan into motion to take back what he believed was his and to get rid of Abby once and for all. Kwong Cao, Alex Kwong, and Anthony Kwong, Alex's elder brother, 
and Abby's chauffeur, had rented an apartment in the village of Long Mei Tsien and turned it into a splatterproof body disposal workshop where parts of Choi's corpse were later found. On February 21st, 2023, approximately one hour after her disappearance, CCTV footage shows two Toyota white seven-seater vehicles driving towards Lung Mei Village. One of these vehicles had picked up Abby on her way to get her daughter from the science park in Tai Po. The driver of the car was Abby's ex-brother-in-law, Anthony Kwong. According to a local media report, Choi's ex-husband Alex unexpectedly joined them in the vehicle before entering the Lion Rock Tunnel. During that car ride, a heated argument erupted between the estranged couple. At some point during the ride, things got even more out of hand between Alex and Abby. Alex hits Abby in the back of her head with an object so hard that a hole is created in her skull. Her blood splatters all over the car seat, but she was still alive. It was 3.12 p.m. when they arrived at their human slaughterhouse at Lung Mei in Tai Po. Alex Kwong and Anthony Kwong dragged Abby inside, where Kwong Kao was already waiting. They coldly put on face shields and raincoats so that the blood splatter would not implicate them in this horrible homicide. And then they proceeded to take the life of someone they once loved. A wife. A mother. A beloved in-law. Abby Choi. During their investigation, the police summoned all three of the Kwongs for interviews. They all gave false statements to slow down the investigation and throw the investigators off their trail. This was probably suggested by Cao, who had remained a law enforcement officer all his life until the sexual harassment report allegedly forced him to resign in 2005. Abby's ex-husband Alex Kwong, infamous in their circle for his lavish lifestyle and excess show of wealth, was wanted by the police for various scams and crimes that he committed. Alex Kwong was previously implicated in a gold investment scheme fraud and had been on the run from the law for six years. And not just for this scam, he was scheduled to appear in court for seven theft cases from 10 years earlier. Abby probably had no idea that Alex came with a criminal past. One might say that Alex Kwong had very meticulously hidden his criminal side from the world he shared with Abby. After the news of Abby's gruesome murder went viral on Chinese social media, Abby's friend Zhou Yi Pao offered a sum of $2 million to anyone who could find Alex Kwong's whereabouts. While his father, mother, and brother were swiftly arrested after the detectives found discrepancies in their initial statements, Alex was ultimately found out to be hiding at a luxury flat in the Arch Sky Tower in central Hong Kong, rented out by one Miss Ng. It was later revealed that Miss Ng was a recent mistress of Cao, Alex's father. On Sunday, February 25th, investigating officers learned that Alex was allegedly planning to escape the city by speedboat. He was intercepted at the Tung Chung Development Pier on Hong Kong's western island of Lantau, near the International Airport, where he was arrested with $500,000 in cash and several luxury watches worth a total of roughly $4 million. A 41-year-old yacht rental worker named Lam has since been detained by police on suspicion of facilitating Mr. Kwong's flight for a purported fee of $100,000. Since then, two more people have been apprehended who allegedly aided and abetted the Kwongs in their insane murder plan. While Alex, Anthony, Cao, and Alex's mother, Jenny Lee, have all been denied bail and are facing the mandatory life imprisonment sentence if they are convicted of murder. Many celebrities, influencers, and close friends have expressed their grief over the loss of Abby Choi, but the real loss is being felt by her children, husband, and extended family, who mourn her grisly demise and remember her as a loving, kind, and responsible mother, a soft-hearted human being who loved nothing more than to help anyone in need. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the Abby Choi murder case. We hope that this video shed some light on the tragic events that took place and honor Abby's memory. If you found this video informative and intriguing, don't forget to subscribe to Vice Confidential for more true crime content like this. Our channel is dedicated to exploring the darkest and most fascinating stories from the world of crime, and we promise to continue bringing you the most compelling content out there. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss a new upload from us. Thank you for watching Vice Confidential, and we'll see you on the other side.